Hi students, this is a fast revision for the pelvis, only for the theory purpose, right? And few MCQs are also there. First is urinary bladder. So these are the common side headings we are supposed to write for the theory. Where is the site and the relations, ligaments, blood supply, nerve supply and clinical anatomy. And the mainly we have to start the discussion. These are the key points alone I have written here. Not the entire discussion. For the entire discussion you have to go for the urinary bladder video. And uh, this is just a revision key points alone. So this is the, what are the uh, um, surfaces. So you have to write about apex, base and superior surface, two infralateral surfaces and neck. These are the points we are supposed to write. And the apex, very importantly, you have to write about the uracus and the median umbilical ligament. See, look at this. This is the bladder. We ha I have kept the bladder inside the pelvis. So it lies inside the true pelvis. And here is the neck of the bladder. Neck, you have the prostate. Can you see the prostate, prostatic urethra? So this is the bladder. This is the apex of the bladder. And uh, here you can see nicely, uh, this is a female pelvis, here you can see the bladder, this is the superior surface of the bladder and here is the apex of the bladder, posteriorly you have the base of the bladder and both the sides you have the infralateral surface of the bladder, apex only now I am uh, very importantly we will see apex whether the student has written the uracus and median umbilical ligament, if it is there only we will give marks ok, apex, apex regarding the apex you have tried this point uracus median umbilical ligament median and then the base in males it is related to the seminal vesicle and the vas look at this this is the base or the posterior surface it is related to the seminal vesicle and the vas in males behind that only you have the rectum in males but in females look at this behind the bladder this is the base of the bladder or posterior surface behind that you will be having the body of the uterus understood and the cervix you have the body of the uterus and the cervix and on the superior surface of the bladder you will be having in females you will be having the fundus of the uterus will be lying here so in females fundus of the uterus in males you will be having the coils of the jejunum so this is about the base and infralateral surface every student should write it is not covered by peritoneum this is a very important point we will be seeing and uh, next is uh, infralateral surface not covered by peritoneum next to that you have the levator and a muscle and the pelvic diaphragm neck is you have the prostate i showed you and the blood supply is superior vesicle and the inferior vesicle arteries and vesicle means bladder so immediately it should come in your mind and the venous plexus is you have the vesicle venous plexus this venous plexus will communicate with the back sense venous plexus of the vertebral column and inside that you have the trigone of the bladder so a word about the trigone of the bladder see look at this, this is a cut section and then trigone of the bladder you have to write about two ureteric opening and the urethral opening so this is the urethra and two urethral opening this is the triangle that's why it is called as trigone and this is developed from the mesonephric duct rest every bladder everything uh, the other parts of the bladder develops from the endoderm this is developed from the mesoderm and here if, between the two ureters that bar is called interureteric bar of mercier and you have the muscle detrusor muscle which is for the contraction of the bladder and the next is ligamentous at least one ligament you should write pubis to bladder that is called pubo vesicle ligament and then blood supply venous drainage we have already mentioned nerve supplies parasympathetic s234 at least is the student should mention so these are the key points for the urinary bladder next i will move on to the clinical anatomy suprapubic cystostomy we have already explained about that at least you just mention all these clinical points suprapubic cystostomy means making an opening in the bladder above the pubic symphysis because i have already told you infralateral surface is not covered by peritoneum and that's why if it is enlarged you, it will come over the pubic symphysis so you can put the needle over there and the next one is atonic bladder automatic bladder and autonomic bladder at least these things should be there in your paper next time move on to the uterus uterus you have to write about the site and position for the position you will be getting two marks and the relations and uh, the supports of the uterus and perineal pouches blood supply nerve supply clinical anatomy and the key points is position anti-flexion and anti-version if you make any mistakes in this you will not get marks anti-flexion means between the body of the uterus and the cervix it is 125 degree anti-version means 
90 degree B meets vagina so between the cervix and the vagina it is antiversion 90 degrees these two are MCQs also and um, the supports are parts of the uterus every student can write I think body and the cervix and above the fallopian tube it is called as fundus and that supports ligamentous supports and the muscular support ligamentous supports at least you have to write about three ligaments i will mention the ligaments this is a uterus now anteriorly it, one ligament is there from the angle of can you see that angle of the uterus to the labia majora it is called as round ligament of uterus and it is anteriorly from the uterus to the sacral vertebra that is a posterior ligament called uterosacral ligament and transversely the cervix is stabilized by a ligament called transverse cervical ligament or mechanrods ligament so anteriorly one ligament is holding the uterus posteriorly uterosacral is holding and both the sides you have the transverse cervical ligament and one more false ligament is there over the body near, nearby the body that is called as broad ligament at least you have to mention all these ligaments the round ligament attachment is and the angle of the uterus angle of the uterus means where the fallopian body tube joins with the body of the uterus from there to the labium majora this is very important uh, mcq and the next thing is uh, here i have written the round ligament uterosacral transverse and the broad ligament we want few words this is a false ligament and it has two layers and between the two layers you have paraophoras epiphoras and uterine artery and ureter this relation only carries most of the marks uterine artery above artery means the bridge above and the water below water is your ureter it is like it lies below and the bridge is above okay uterine artery and ureter and the pelvic diaphragm pelvic diaphragm means the muscles so at least the name of levator annie should be there in your paper right and these are the supports of the uterus so pelvic the diaphragm pelvic diaphragm there's a muscular support all others are ligamentous supports and the next one is the blood supply uterine artery uterine artery is a branch of internal iliac artery anterior division and uterine vein you write iliac nodes all of them are going to the iliac nodes except uh, uh, the angle of the uterus it drains into the superficial inguinal group of nodes and next i will move on to the prostate prostate if uh, it's very uh, not uh, rarely asked question anyway if it is asked mcq purpose it can be asked and in one more question in one more important pa point in the bladder inside the bladder near the trigon you have to write about uvula vesicae there's a projection from the uh, median lobe of the prostate projects into this area that is called as uvula vesicae mcq as well as you have to write it in the bladder and prostate uh, here you have two lateral lobes one median lobe and one posterior lobe and the central zone where the ejaculate duct yeah, this central if you read then only you can understand central zone ejaculate duct for mcq transition zone surrounds the urethra so the urethra will pass in through that so this is a zone which surrounds the urethra is a central transitional zone next to that ejaculatory duct is coming that is the central zone and posterior lobe is prone for cancer and transitional zone is prone for benign prostatic hypertrophy and the blood supply of the prostate is very important it lies below the neck of the bladder so lower part of the bladder so inferior vesicle artery supplies and middle rectal artery from the posterior and down from the internal pudendal artery and this is called uh, not vesicle this is prostatic venous plexus this will be communicated with the Batson's venous plexus of the vertebral column. So if there is any prostate cancer, it will be passing through the vertebral venous plexus and then it will go 